guys, it's Freeman. Uh, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. This week, I'm really just kind of giving you guys a quick rundown on a brand new goggle released by Electric for the 2019 season. So, I just went to my Zoomies and just barely picked up the Cleveland Signature Line goggle. Um, I've always been loyal to Dragon for years. I, I just started to hate my X2s. So I'm pumped to kind of get to the nitty gritty with these goggles. I really kind of just want to unbox it for you guys, show you what they look like, and obviously try them on for you with my beanie. I do ride with a helmet, so I will kind of show you the configuration you can do with your helmet or without your helmet. Let's jump right into it. There you have it guys, that is a very, very good looking goggle. Very solid colorway put up by Electric. Torsional flex, very, very flexible. Very, very, very good looking goggle by Electric. I'm gonna go ahead and try these bad boys on for you guys. So right away guys, if you notice, um, the fit on these, I would say comfort level on a scale of one to 10, I'd give these goggles a solid eight. I look from left to right, my vision, probably say you're a good solid 175 degree view of what's in front of you. So this is how they kind of fit if you just want to get them straight out of the box and throw it over the beanie. All right guys, so if you're like me, um, this is kind of my go-to setup. Uh, currently, my goggles are paired with the Anon helmets. It is a size medium. I personally have always been a fan of wearing my goggles inside my helmet. It just tends to have less pressure on my face. So if you do decide to buy these goggles and if you're concerned if it won't fit your helmet, your boy Freeman's got you because they do. You're one of those people who like to wear your uh, goggles on the outside of your helmet. Um, not to say it's a bad thing, I've just never honestly liked wearing my goggles around the helmet. Um, to be honest though, as far as the pressure goes on the face, um, I notice it being a little bit tighter but not super tight to where it's unbearable. But the good news is whether you want to wear it with your beanie, whether you want to wear it inside your helmet, or whether you want to wear it around your helmet, Comfort level is a good solid 8 out of 10, no doubt. Well guys, that was just a quick short review. Um, I hope you guys go out and pick up a pair of the Cleveland Goggle. I know I'm super pumped to pull them out this year and hopefully follow this video up with another review of how they perform on the mountain. Once again guys, if you are new here, consider subscribing. If you can, smash that like button for me. Your support definitely helps. Hope you guys have a wonderful season out on the mountain. Till next time, peace.